Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Glitchcraft, where today we're going to be doing a few small things around here, getting ready to complete a, uh, a bigger challenge in the near future. But first, I just wanted to point out uh, one thing. It's been a while, but I have been uh, working here quite a lot, and in that time I have gone and made the solar panels and I basically put 6,400 capacitors like large of these uh, these uh, capacitors these ones vibrant capacitors so 250 million uh, RF 6,400 of those over there um, and then I've put 6,400 solar panels on top of it which is why you'll be able to see we have if I do this this is every ore. Second thing we want to do, um, which I've been meaning to do for a while, and that is the, the what we're going to focus on to for the next episode, through this episode, is moving this entire thing. So what I've been meaning to do for a very long time is move that into a void world, uh, which I thought was a very good idea because it's completely separate from here, nobody ever, ever has to see it. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that for a while, so what I needed to do from there is make a quantum link chamber thing, um, basically allowing us to over dimensions and over very long you know distances connect to this me system because otherwise how are we going to access our stuff if it's not part of this me system so we need to make a quantum uh, bridge or whatever quantum entanglement thing uh, so if in order to do that we need to make uh, we need to use a matter condenser which i did uh, i made a yes i filled it with a 64 uh, 64k me storage component and i filled it up and then I realized that I had set it wrong and it was actually set on destroy items, so I just destroyed all those items uh, instead of going to singularities, which need 256,000, I think that's 256,000 um, items starting here to make a singularity. So that's what we're going to be doing today, or at least part of what we're going to be doing today, which is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to throw that there, that there, these and those, and hope that this works. Alongside that, we actually need to fix something that's been in here for a very long time. Now, if we go to crafting only, uh, for a very long time, ever since we upgraded the pack, we've had this item is disabled as a crafting thing. And I never actually worked out what it was, I think, until now. Because I always thought, whenever I went to... Uh, let's go to disabled. If I go in here, I, I always looked at this, went one of these to craft one of these. So I thought it was in a crafting table. Only recently did I go in here and find it's actually... Not in the crafting molecular assemblers, it's actually in the pulverizer and it's from an ender pearl. So what I'm assuming is it is the ender dust, which we need for this anyway. I thought we had to do it in a grindstone, which is going to be a bit worrying, but we can actually throw it in a pulverizer, which is quite nice. So I'm going to get an ender pearl, of which I have apparently zero. Uh, and there we go. So for some reason that wasn't loading in. That's worrying. I did completely do redo my cables though, so that might be uh, the issue there. So I'm actually just going to throw one of these in here, hopefully it does it correctly, and let's go in here. Um, ender pearl powder, apparently we get two out of it. I'm going to throw one more in and see if we get two out of it, that's interesting if we do. So why do we get two out of it? Unless we maybe, ax maybe somehow had one in there already, which would have been interesting. But let's go there. Unless it act maybe makes two by chance, like it has a chance of making a second one. Which would be very interesting. So let's throw that in there. We can then get rid of this pattern. I kind of wanted to actually keep that pattern. I should have probably done that. It'd be cool to have this item is disabled as an item that we could have. Um, and I guess we can actually see if it'll actually show up. It does show up. Okay. Because it doesn't show up here. Um, so we actually need two of these, I think, for the stuff for the singularity. Because we need that, and then we need some TNT. But I think the best way to do this is get some tiny TNT from AE. Uh, and get that, and then we need a flint and steel. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a, uh, the QED, uh, not QED, that's the QED up there, the quantum link bridge thing. And then the plan is to move this into a void world. And then I'm going to repurpose this into basically... Imagine this, but like instead it's um, a ton of, imagine that, but imagine it's instead a ton of uh, crafting CPUs. So like 
basically it will go like each place here in the center will be an ME, uh, ME interface and each four sides will be uh, ME uh, molecular assembler which I'm then going to power from an energy acceptor. I think that's the best way to do it, just so we're not wasting channels on powering it. Um, though I think, from my experience over here, that these do get powered via... These seem to get powered via the interfaces anyway, so maybe we don't have to worry about that. Um, as long as it doesn't take up a second channel, hopefully. Let's have a look. Oh, so we have finally made a singularity. Uh, which is pretty cool. What I'm going to do is go over here because I don't want to break anything. And I guess we're going to have to take off our magnet as well. And it seems that that's actually going to start making another singularity. So I guess that's kind of useful. I think I was planning to make another one um, at some point. So let's have a plan. Let's do... I assume I can place it there. And let's hope that this works. I think this is supposed to be how it goes. Oh, it does destroy blocks. No! And we have two quantum entanglement singularities now, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look at quantum. And we are going to have to make, I think it's, um, we're going to have to make two of these. Two of these, which shouldn't be too bad. And then eight of these. We can, I guess we can go off of this for now. It seems to not be uh, taking too much uh, stuff. Uh, channels, that's what I meant to say. So we're going to make do that. So we're going to do that. That means that then we can throw that one in there. And then I'm going to go over to dial with this device because I don't want to go to the lasers. I want to go to the demons. And then... Oh. We can go on top of somewhere like here, I guess, uh, and just place everything right there. Throw that one in there. Hope that it works. Right, so then I guess, boom. I don't know if you have to power it. So, boom. Let's power that. There we go. So it just has to be powered, it seems, um, which is, is okay, I guess. Uh, and then that should give us all our items that we can then insert from here, which is nice. And that allows us to then potentially uh, go to another dimension and do that as well, as long as it is chunk loaded. That's actually going to be it, I think, for this episode. I just needed to get this done and, um, you know, I've got other stuff to get done, unfortunately, that just has come up. So it's going to be a tiny bit of a shorter episode, depending on how I edit it down. And, um, yeah, I will see you next time, where hopefully the plan is to uh, put this into the other dimension with the From Nothing machine. So, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.